Hey everyone, you've probably already heard Milwaukee's MPS 20 has been postponed indefinitely this year due to coronavirus. However, that doesn't mean they're done innovating. Uh, in fact, I've found so many more patents that have been published since my last video two months ago, I decided to make another one. So let's see what I found. First up is an ultra compact M12 nibbler design for cutting sheet metal. Uh, this thing has an omnidirectional head. It's got an optional accessory on it for punching through a pilot hole so you don't even have to carry a step drill bit. You can use the tool itself to start in the middle of a sheet or you can start on the edge. It's got variable speed. It's got a counterweight inside it to reduce vibration uh, that you're gonna feel as the user. It's got a magnetized chip collection system. Uh, it's got an omnidirectional head so you can cut in any direction. You don't have to swing the whole body uh, to make your cut so you can get in really tight places with this thing. Uh, there's no mention of a maximum gauge of sheet metal this thing can do, um, but it, it might be a little bit lighter duty since it is an M12 tool. So the last video I made, I found an M18 cordless roofing nailer. This video, I found an M18 cordless concrete nailer. The design on this thing has a detachable handle so you can take the pistol grip off of the tool, attach an extension to it, and attach the pistol grip on the bottom of that extension and use it to fasten in the ceiling without getting on a ladder or without using stilts. Uh, and since the degree, the angle that you go into a concrete with, with a fastener is so important, this thing has a tilt indicator on it that will tell you when you are within six degrees of perpendicular to the surface. The fastening energy on this thing is listed as 230 joules, and I did some, some research. Uh, Hilti's specifications for that power is approximately a one inch nail into concrete fully seated. This next patent is for an M12 inline reciprocating saw. This is a lot smaller design than their current M12 hacksaw is, uh, and it's really meant to go after uh, the air tool market. That's what they're doing with these die grinders they've come out with recently. Um, this is for an inline small reciprocating saw for replacing a pneumatic one. The patent lists the length between 10 and a half and 12 inches long, so really compact for a reciprocating saw. And just like the nibbler we saw earlier, it has a counterweight for vibration reduction. There's an adjustable shoe that allows you to vary the cutting depth from 3 eighths to possibly one and a half inches for a maximum. Stroke length listed in this thing is either one quarter inch or a half inch with a rate of 3,000 to 6,500 strokes per minute. So last year at MPS 19, Milwaukee introduced a cordless torque wrench. Uh, in the M12 platform, and that was really getting into precision fastening for them. So here they've got an M18 cordless precision torque screwdriver. This thing operates using strain gauges internal to it to determine how much torque it's putting on the fastener, and when it gets up to the desired torque, it cuts off using an electromechanical clutch. So it actually sends an electronic signal which physically decouples the motor drive assembly from the fastener drive, the output shaft, which really takes all the rotational inertia away and keeps you from overshooting. That's why regular electronic clutches always are problematic with exact torques because you've still got the motor and everything spinning when it cuts power to it. So this design solves that problem uh, and it also mentions it's going to have a display on it for setting the torque values. I really bet this thing is going to be one key compatible. I can see it being really useful in an industrial setting uh, with lots of fasteners that need to be set to the specific torque. The operating speed on this is listed as 50 to 750 RPM, but it unfortunately it doesn't list the torque range. This next one is for an M18 powered battery jump starter for cars. The patent mentioned it uses supercapacitors in either an M12 or M18 battery, but I'm really betting it's gonna be an M18 battery. Uses those batteries to charge up the supercapacitors and then discharges the battery and supercapacitors in parallel uh, to achieve up to 750 amps for 50 milliseconds and then 200 amps of sustained power for several seconds thereafter. The jump starter is capable of recognizing when you try to start the car, and then it's also capable of recognizing when the car is started successfully, and then it disconnects the supercapacitors and battery from the car's battery. It's also got an automatic low battery indicator where if your M18 battery is running low on power and it doesn't have enough juice in it to start the car, it won't let you try that and damage the battery. If you were hoping to see a cordless rebar cutter from Milwaukee, in addition to the thread rod cutter they released last year, you are in luck. Because here they have a patent for rebar cutting jaws. This isn't for a whole power tool, it's just for the jaws. So I don't know if they're making a separate force logic power tool that goes with these jaws, or if it's going to work on one of their existing cable cutters. Either way, they're definitely looking into rebar cutting. 
In the last patent video I did, I found an M18 packout vacuum system, uh, and it was really, really broad. Here I found another patent for an M18 quiet vacuum. Uh, you can look on this thing, it's got a 66 decibel rating, that's actually really, really quiet. Um, and from the description, it sounds like if you want a little bit more power out of it, you can operate at a higher power, but it's going to be a little bit louder. Um, this one has a caster base, which doesn't look like it's compatible with Packout, but I bet that's easily rectified if they decide to go with this design. If you look at this drawing right here, you can see there's a manual filter clean option. That little T-handle is for grabbing and pulling upwards and letting go and agitating the filter. And it turns out they have an entirely separate patent for that particular aspect of a filter clean device. I'm a little bit surprised it's not automatic, but hey, at least it's got filter clean. In addition to that, they've also got a separate patent for a modular vacuum design uh, with different sized debris bins using the same vacuum head. In addition to that, they've also got a patent for an auto start dust extraction adapter that goes in between an 18 volt tool and a battery. So when you start that tool and you draw current from the battery, it lets the dust extractor know to start and turn on. And if your dust extractor doesn't have that feature, they've also got a battery bay option for putting on that one so two of these things can communicate and you should be able to put it on any M18 style vacuum and do the same thing. So there are so many vacuum patents that Milwaukee has out there right now. I really, really think we're going to be seeing something very soon, probably a dust extraction system, cordless, and I'm hoping it's going to be pack out. This one's a really interesting patent. It's an angle finder for a saw. So it's a smart saw design that lets you know what angle you're going to cut into a workpiece at. It's got two different distance sensors here uh, that, that tell you, it just measures and does some trigonometry and figures out what angle you're cutting into your workpiece at. There's also an option for doing a drill so you can make sure you're at 90 degrees. It shows a regular circular saw on this design, but I was thinking to myself, this will be an awesome feature on a track saw embedding. So maybe this is a step zone to a track saw that's super high tech. And for those of you hoping for more MX Fuel stuff, I've got great news for you. I found the original MX Fuel system patent. Enlisted in it, we've got an MX Fuel chainsaw. I'm betting this thing's going to be a 20 inch bar. We've got an MX Fuel compressor, maybe a six gallon capacity able to run multiple nail guns. An MX Fuel miter saw. This is going to be a 12 inch capacity miter saw. It's got to be. Also, Big news, MX Fuel Table Saw. 10 inch table saw, it's gotta be, um, with a plug-in adapter. This is going to be the next step they need for full-size job site tools. In addition to that, I found a patent for an MX Fuel hand truck. So it's powered with the treads, just like the sewer drain machine was uh, that they showed us at NPS. And it's got an option for putting packouts on it. This is going to be great for loading things into the back of a work truck or carrying heavy things up the stairs. In a very similar idea to that, that hand truck that we saw, there is an MX Fuel transport cart slash pallet jack. So this thing, they've got a bunch of different designs in here. Uh, it looks like it's going to be able to lift things up to a certain height. Uh, so you can put it on a flat surface, move something heavy, and then lift it up and load it into the back of a truck maybe. Uh, it looks like this thing has a ton of different versatile options. Uh, it's going to be really useful for moving heavy objects. And the last thing I found is actually really exciting. So Milwaukee has the M18 quick lock system for their outdoor power equipment that lets you put, you know, chainsaws, hedge trimmers, everything on that one power head. It looks like Milwaukee's working on an MX Fuel power head as well. Uh, they've got a couple specifications in here. It's got a motor output of 2760 watts, that's roughly 3.7 horsepower, uh, and it's going to be able to attach to a bunch of different types of tools. So there's a planetary gearbox in here, so we're, we're looking at a lot of torque coming out of this thing, especially with the huge motor it's got. Uh, it's going to have two selectable speeds, uh, which will allow it for use on different types of equipment that might have an optimal speed at, at a higher range or a lower range than other types of equipment. So some of the examples of tools they give with this, which is by no means limiting what they can do, but some of the examples specifically called out in this patent, we've got a trash pump system uh, for, for pumping you know, dirty water that's got leaves and debris in it. They've got a water jetter listed here. They've also got a plate compactor and a tamping rammer. So they've got a bunch of big outdoor tools that are normally gas powered that they're looking to replace with the MX Fuel platform. 
And another hint at the future of MX Fuel, right now they've got three amp hour compact batteries and six amp hour XC batteries. Those are both using three amp hour cells internally. This patent mentions going up to five amp hour cells. So that's five amp hour compact style batteries and 10 amp hour XC style batteries, both at 72 volts. That's a lot of power. So that's everything I either missed or had been published since my last video. I'd love to hear what you guys think about them, and hopefully we'll see some news of an MPS-20 either media release or an actual scheduled physical event. We'll see what Milwaukee decides to do.